Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. Today is a splendid Saturday video for you, the first one in a while. Uh, and I can't remember off the top of my head, maybe the first one of the new year. So if I haven't said it already, Happy New Year. I've um, got a couple of housekeeping measures to get to, and then uh, some quick updates uh, since I haven't been on the channel for a while. Uh, and then we will get into today's topic. So, first of all, uh, like I said, Happy New Year. Uh, second of all, go Kansas City Chiefs. My wife is a huge Chiefs fan, and she is absolutely thrilled that they won the Super Bowl. Um, for those of you who follow football, she has been a lifelong Chiefs fan, and so you know what this means to them. Also another housekeeping measure. Um, my sentiments go out to the family of John Harden. Uh, we all know him as Matches860 who uh, suddenly passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get my video up on time to pay him his respects closer to the occasion. Um, I unfortunately have been in trial uh, for a number of days in the past couple of weeks, and I've been assisting another lawyer. And so... I have had literally no time for anything, um, and it's only just recently that I've been able to get back onto the channel and check out things and see what's going on. Um, although I did see the Briar Report's tweet, I saw Phil's tweet, the day that it happened, so and the day that it was announced publicly. So again, my, my thoughts and condolences and my prayers go out to John's family um, and to those of us in the YTPC who knew him best. Um, I, I did not personally know John. Um, he, I was a subscriber of his, and I occasionally tuned in to his weekly smokes. But um, unfortunately, I was not very close with him, and um, I wish that I had been. Because everything that I have heard from the people who knew him best is that he was a really, really neat guy. And uh, a really well-valued member of the YTPC. So... Thoughts and condolences to him. Getting into other housekeeping matters, uh, today I am smoking a new blend in my uh, Hardcastle Old Bruyere, uh, and this is a Made in England uh, Shape 27 Bent Bulldog from the Dunhill era, uh, when Hardcastle was owned by Dunhill. And in it, I am smoking uh, Cornell and Deal's Haunted Bookshop. I just got done filming the first impression video for this blend. Um, it's not much of a video because uh, I've only just now opened the tin, hence why this is still here. But um, first impressions generally, I have high hopes for this blend. Um, it's not my typical MO. My typical MO is aromatics, um, and this is definitely not an aromatic, but I see potential in it. I see potential in it. So... Um, moving into today's topic, today's topic is homemade blends. So <clears throat> recently I was at my local tobacco shop and um, I'd gone in there, I can't remember what the, what the reason was, I was celebrating something and uh, I had brought a, a High Clare Castle uh, Churchill with me and so I was going to smoke that, I had some time. And I wanted to look through their humidor and see if there was anything else that really sounded good to me. And I didn't really find anything. So, but as I was walking around, the guy that was helping me was smoking a pipe. And for those of you who know me on the channel, I'm more of a pipe guy than a cigar guy. And every time he walked past me, I just kept getting this whiff of what he was smoking. And it smelled phenomenal. Um, just really, really pleasant. And finally, at some point, I turned to him and I said, you know, what, what is in your pipe? Because um, it smells delicious. And he told me, and it was a blend of two of their house bulk blends. Uh, and the, the blends are, the, the, yeah, the, the blends are called um, Vanilla Cream, and the other one is called San Antonio Rose. And it is a Latakia blend. And then Vanilla Cream, obviously, is a vanilla aromatic. So, 
He said, it's, it's a half and half blend of those two. Um, now, I can sell you the components. I cannot mix them for you because of the FDA deeming regulations and because of the regulations on producers. But I can sell you, you know, half an ounce and half an ounce so that you can mix it together and then just put it in a mason jar and leave it to mellow for about a week and then give it a try. So I said, hey, sounds like a great idea to me. And so I bought half an ounce of each, mixed them when I got home into a mason jar, and it has been mellowing for about two weeks. And finally, last night, I got the chance to break it out. So I busted it out, and y'all may have seen me post a picture of, I was in a suit um, with a Missouri Meerschaum Bent Ozark. And uh, I have that pipe specifically for Latakia blends because I don't like Latakia ghosting my pipes. So it turned out phenomenally, and it may very well become my meat and potatoes blend. Um, it's got everything that I'm looking for in a pipe blend. It is sweet without being overly sugary. It is very pleasant and very meaty. Um, it's got a good mouthfeel to it, which is great, great smoke production, um, which to me is important. I like big billowing clouds of smoke around me. Uh, and then the Latakia helped to add kind of an umami element to it um, without being overpowering, because I'm not a huge fan of Latakia forward blends. Um, I tolerate Frog Morton and I tolerate uh, Early Morning Pipe, but I've not gotten around to really liking Latakia forward blends. So this was like the perfect balance of everything for me. And uh, it just kind of got me thinking about like, you know, we pay so much for these custom blends uh, like Cornell and Deal, like Peterson, you know, all these things. And these were just two bulk blends that I threw into a jar and kind of mixed up. And <clears throat> I've got a jar that I keep in my cellar that is just what I call the leftovers jar. And it will happen when I get to the end of a tin and I've got maybe half a bowl's worth of tobacco, I will throw it into the leftover jar. And so that blend is constantly evolving. And I pray to God that someday I don't smoke it and go, oh my God, this is the perfect blend and I will never ever get this again because I don't know what's in it. Um, but this was a, a bit more controlled and just really, really did it for me. Um, and it just kind of got me thinking about this idea of homemade blends. Um, and so I wanted to open up the forum down in the comments below and just kind of ask, do y'all do your own home blending? Um, and if so, what do you blend with? And what are some of your favorite creations that you have made? Um, I know Mike over at the Briar Blues does his own pressing um, and makes his own... Uh, bricks and little brownies of uh, cube cut tobacco and flake tobacco. Um, I know that there are others that, you know, they have a scrap jar like I do. And so I'm just, I'm kind of curious, you know, do we in the YTPC do a lot of homemade blends versus buying, you know, tins of, uh, of tobacco? So just wanted to open up the forum and uh, I'm keeping it short this week. Um, but you know, let me know what you think and let me know what you do. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. If you'd like to connect with me on other social media, and I highly suggest that you do, you can find the links to my Instagram and Twitter in the description box below this video. Uh, other than that, guys, this has been a splendid Saturday here on Gentleman's Corner. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And other than that, have a good one.